Now guys, we're here with Daniel from the Wetter Workshops. How are you doing, Daniel? Hi, good man. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so can you tell us what is Wetter? Sure. So Wetter Workshop is a, primarily a special effects and physical effects workshop based in Wellington, New Zealand. Um, we've been around for, gosh, yeah, many decades now. Um, I joined the company about 20 years ago and um, I'm a designer there, so I uh, come up with ideas for armour and weapons, creatures, all that kind of stuff. Primarily for film and television, but also for other industries as well. I'm part of a team. Um, we a workshop not only designs uh, the kind of stuff that uh, we make for the movies, we also then build it. Um, we also have our own um, interactive uh, facility now as well, so we're developing games. Um, we publish books, we have merchandise that we make, so basically anything that's creatively satisfying um, and, and fun for us to do. Yeah. So what's the history of Weta? Like, um, how did they first get started and uh, what products did they first delve themselves into? Sure, so my boss uh, Richard Taylor uh, established the company with his partner uh, Tanya Roger many years ago. Uh, Richard basically is one of these people who's uh, compulsively creative. He has to be making stuff. He grew up on a farm and he used to pull clay out of the creek behind the farm and make things with it and, and always wanted to just be, be making stuff for a living. And so he perceived that there was a, um, a gap in the market in New Zealand for a special effects company that would create models, armor, weapons, props, costumes, that kind of stuff for the cinema industry in New Zealand. And so he basically created Weta to be that. Uh, over the years it has grown tremendously. Uh, when I started 20 years ago, it was still a fairly young company. Um, there were about, maybe about 20 people working there and now it's much, much larger. Uh, we've got a couple of hundred people at Weta Workshop now. And our sister company, Weta Digital, which do all the digital effects, they're up to a couple of thousand people. They uh, grow and, and shrink depending on the work. Um, we're probably best known for the Lord of the Rings, that was really Weta's huge break. Uh, before that, uh, we'd done a number of Peter Jackson's films uh, and we'd also worked on things like the Hercules and Xena television shows, providing creatures for those. That's how I got my break, um, was uh, doing work experience on those shows and then in turn getting to Weta after that. Um, but yeah, Lord of the Rings really put Weta on the map. Um, Weta Workshop provided uh, armour and weapons for the uh, that film, uh, design, uh, gore and injury, miniatures, uh, just a huge volume of, of different subjects. Normally on a movie, different companies would do all of those different things, but uh, we chose to do as much of it in-house at Weta Workshop as possible because we felt that it would bring a, a singular design style to the whole film as much as possible, which we felt was important for it. So it looks as though for the Lord of the Rings um, series that we have, mm. uh, we were given, um, a lot of the sort of props uh, designs for the enemies and pretty much everything in regards to the creative side of things all came under the umbrella of Weta. A lot of it, yeah. There was an art department on the films as well and a costume department, so we would work in concert with them. So, for example, the art department would make props, or we would make anything that was considered a, a weapon. Uh, the costume department would make beautiful costumes, or we would make anything that was considered armour. So, in that regard, we were kind of specialists. But then we, we also provided miniatures, uh, so that all the beautiful big cities and that kind of stuff that was, that was all produced at Weta Workshop as well. And then, um, you know, Weta has sort of branched out since then. Um, we've obviously worked on the sequels, The Hobbit, uh, but then also Avatar and uh, District 9. Uh, what else have we done? Um, King Kong, uh, The Lion, the Wish, and the Wardrobes, Prince Caspian. Uh, most recently, the company's just finished work on um, the Power Rangers movie that's being done. So we made uh, Power Ranger costumes, and there are some pictures online of, of those. I think they've shown the first of those. Um, and uh, the Ghost in the Shell live action uh, remake is being done at, at the moment in Wellington. And we provided a lot of material for that, uh, you know, suits, special costumes and that kind of stuff. Which stars Scarlett Johansson? Yes, 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 she's around. <laughs> So is there anything up and coming with Weta? Are we allowed to find like last Well, I'd say uh, we've also just done Warcraft. Um, so at Weta Workshop, uh, the, we didn't design the weapons, but we manufactured the weapons for the Alliance uh, for Warcraft and also the Alliance armor. And we also sell them. So uh, you can actually go to our website and buy weapons from Warcraft taken out of the same molds as the ones that we made for the movie. I mean, that's another whole aspect of the company now is that we have a gift shop and we go to shows like this. Um, we have a tourism angle to the company now too, where people can come and actually look through parts of the workshop that we have cordoned off, because of course people are interested in peeking behind the curtain and seeing how things are made. So we'll have, we run demonstrations and uh, we've put as much of the cool stuff that we've made as possible into like a little gallery space that people can come and visit and actually get a guided tour through. Uh, but yeah, we make statues and you know, we're all big geeks for this stuff as well, right? So we work on these movies, but then we want to have keepsakes for ourselves. So we make, you know, collectible statues and toys and uh, you know, replica weapons and armor and all that kind of stuff and sell those as well. 
That's brilliant. Anyway, Daniel, thank you very much. Nice to We've see you. We've learned so much about Weta. Thank and you. Yeah, I just hope to see the name even more in the future. Yeah, well, you must come and visit us in New Zealand sometime. Will do. Take care. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Cheers. Thank you.